Hey guys, I'm up here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, well, it's a while that you don't hear this intro, isn't it? I've been away and I didn't upload a single video for 16 days, so oh god, that's a lot of time. I am really really sorry about that, so make sure to support me and smash that like button. Today I have a kind of different video, since in the last one I made a poll asking you guys if you wanted the one command installation with every tutorial I make, and the majority of you guys said yes I want that. Uh, so that's going to change a bit my uh, series. Uh, so that's about it, uh, just let me give you a quick review of today's tutorial, how to make an RC car. Shortly you'll be able to control the car just by using these items and make it go wherever you want. So guys, keep on watching if you want to see how to make it. Right, so as I said today I'm going to show you how to make an RC car that you can fully control and basically drive around as a normal toy. Please note that the physics is not perfect, uh, just because it's a toy I didn't want to complicate the system too much and just make a simple but efficient control. So let's just see how we can control it. When you get all the items that you need in order to use the car, you will get a right item, a forward item and a left one. The forward item is just the remote controller itself. When you hold it in your hand, the car will go towards the direction that the car is looking. Just note that this is not based on the direction that you're looking. To make the car change direction, you will need to use the right and the left items. As soon as you hold, for example, the right item, the car will go forward and depending on which item you have selected, it will start turning right or left. Also, if you keep one of the right or left key selected, the car will start uh, turning around in a perfect circle and will actually keep doing so until you actually switch to the forward mode. Right, so to get this RC car all you have to do is give yourself a command block through this command then copy and paste the long command inside you will also find in the website in the description the command together with all the um, list of all the commands that are used so you can check them out or you can just install this into your world uh, since the new machine design is completely open you can just enter and check all the commands out, uh, they are ordered and all that stuff, you know. So to get started you will have to simply press this button and the car will be spawned. Simply to control the car you already know how to do it and yeah you just have to mm, go forward and the car will actually exit the machine in a really weird way. <laughs> Anyways. If you want to give the car your name, for example now it's saying Simon's car since that's my car, you know, I want it to be mine. All you have to do is just go in, in this command, at the beginning you will see custom name and you just have to replace this Simon with, um, I don't know, Steve. So the next car you spawn will be Steve's car. If you go at the back of the machine, you'll see that there are these command blocks. If you power them up, you'll get these new custom heads. Uh, let me do it really quick, there we go. And now you see that I have all these heads and if I right click with one of them, you will see that I changed the color of the car. I'm actually changing the custom head which is worn by an invisible armaston which is the actual car. I can also replace it with a truck, as you can see now. I think it looks a little bit strange, <laughs> um, I don't really like it, there is a second version that I'm going to show you in a moment. You see this one is better, a lot better, <laughs> the other one just looks super weird. 
And yeah, that's it, you can just customize your car. Now I'm going to briefly explain you how this works. If you want to check out all the commands, you can either download this and install it in your world, or you can just go to my website and see all the commands that are in these two chains. These are all the commands that are needed in order to make this car work. Okay, so let me go 200 blocks above the actual car that you see. You will see that now I see this boat with two passengers, which are two armasands. The green point actually represents the position of the boat, while the flame point represents the position of the first passenger of the boat, which is the armasand. Uh, we don't actually care about the second one because we'll not use it, but we just use it because, as you might know, since 1.9, uh, passengers' boat get an offset. This is so useful, this is one of the major features about boats that are so cool. Um, so, if you don't know, we can actually use boats to perform raycasting. I did not invent this method though, it was firstly created by uh, a guy named Gamer Guppy. I'll leave his video in a car right now. For example, now I am rotating the boat to demonstrate that the actual flame point will circle around the green one. This demonstrates that no matter what the actual rotation is, the flame point will still take in consideration the green one. Yeah, by slowly rotating each time the boat, you will see that the first passenger will get rotated as well as you might think, and it will circle around the green point. So, what we are actually doing is teleporting the boat, which is in this case the green point, to the um, flame point. This offset uh, gives us a velocity of 0.4 blocks per second. So, uh, let me actually demonstrate this to you. While I'm holding the uh, forward item, you will see that the boat is teleported to the first passenger. This will make the boat move in the direction that is set. Instead, when I, for example, use the right item, you will see that the boat, I use ATP command to teleport the boat slightly and change its rotation uh, clockwise for uh, the left and counterclockwise for the right. Uh, so that was a really short explanation. Uh, let me see if there is something else interesting that I can uh, show you. Oh yeah, also there is the system which makes the car go upwards when it finds a block. How this works? It's really simple. We have a scoreboard. When the car goes inside a block, you see that now it's right there, it gets a score of 1, as you can see from the sidebar. And simply, when it has a score of 1, um, it's being teleported upwards by one block. Of course, this makes the car go upwards even if there are two blocks like this. I just wanted to keep this creation really simple, so I don't want to add some limitation and complicated stuff, you know. I just think that since this is an RC car, it's basically a toy, it doesn't need to be perfect, right? And that's basically and briefly how it works. If you want to get a little bit in depth, you can just go to my website, there will be a link in the description or right now on the screen, and you will get to my webpage where I'll post all the different commands, together with the one command installation of course. From now on, on this channel, I'll try to make some more quality content. And, you know, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you'll find the link right now. You know, those people, those Twitter people, already knew about this new design for the machine. Oh, and you will find a 1.11 installation as well. So that's it for me, I'll see you probably tomorrow, and until then, goodbye!